And you yeah, can you ought to sing the background part. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Road. Hope Open and Road. Hope and Road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. each other and we grew up in Santa Monica mm -hmm. and we went to school together you know mm -hmm. yeah, Lincoln Junior High School and then uh, on to Santa Monica High School and that's when we joined forces yeah and we uh, we started right out of high school singing together right? mm -hmm. we do um, Marie's mother was a very famous actress and did a lot of commercials her name was Joanne Jordan her stage name and uh, she knew Milton Rackmill, who was the president of Universal... Uh, Universal Pictures. Universal Pictures. So, take it from there, Murray. So, Mom uh, contacted Milton, and Milton set up a recording session for us at uh, Western Recording, uh, which was a really nice, uh, uh, smaller studio in L.A., and that's where we, uh, in Hollywood, and that's where we sang our first recording it was it was really fun it was very exciting and what i remember about that was we had never been in a studio yeah. right yeah. so when we heard the playback it was just unbelievable we said wow what a sound <laughs> i mean do we sound like that yeah. <laughs> so the recorded sound especially of melinda was fantastic you know so i'll never forget that yeah was um, it mono <laughs> yeah i'm sure it was <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> we were very lucky to work with the producer Tommy LaPuma. First mm -hmm. of all, he was a, just a really nice guy. Yeah. But he, he had a real ear for songs, and he picked most of the songs on our album. He, he suggested those songs to us, including the Beatles songs, okay? Um, what do you guys remember here? I remember that too. Yeah, I just remember he, he, was, he was great to work with, and... and <clears throat> That's all I remember about. He liked our sound very yeah, much. Yeah, Tommy was he was just a terrific guy. Yeah. Great producer. And we were lucky to have a <clears throat> uh, Bruce Botnick as the engineer. He mm -hmm. was a terrific engineer. Yeah. And uh, the arrangers we thought were great. Bob Thompson, uh, um, Nick Marty Nick Page. Oh, Marty uh, Page. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Nick DeCaro. Nick DeCaro. Nick DeCaro was was real special. He was a good. He was a very good friend of Tommy. Tommy the Puma, but he was just a really great arranger. Yes. Um, <clears throat> that time. Murray, why don't you take that one? Well, <coughs> the greatest group of all time. And, uh, you know, I was thinking of my, my favorite album was with Sgt. Pepper. It was just, it was just incredible. Nothing, nothing ever like it. And they're the greatest group. Uh, ever and then we were just what what else Nelly? Well, I love their harmony. I love their sound, and yeah. they, their music was revolutionary in mm. my mind's eye because we were getting out of rock and roll at the time. There was a lot of uh, uh, just sort of lots of just guitars and single songs, and then this group came along that just excited everybody, and it yeah. excited us. So, yeah. so that's why we just love their music. Yeah, and uh, and. With Tommy, we, we chose, with a little help of my friends, and... Um, I'll Be Back. I'll Be Back. We, we all liked those two <laughs> songs. Yeah. And we definitely wanted to cover a couple of Beatles songs, so that's how that worked. We all grew up in Santa Monica. Yeah. The Beach Boys were in the Pacific Palisades, right next to Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. I mean, they lived 10 or 15 miles from us, so we knew exactly who they were. We were big fans of theirs. Um, let Murray talk about that a little bit. He's very good at this history. God only knows I loved the Beach Boys, and still do. <laughs> and anything anything Brian Wilson does, I'm interested in. I want to hear it. I want to get it. That was a Tony Asher lyric, too. Yeah, too. Tony Asher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, Good Vibrations, uh, absolutely. I, the first time I heard that, I was driving on the freeway and had to pull over. I was just absolutely amazed by this recording.
It's wonderful. So. I like Bob, Bob, Bob. Oh, she liked Bob Barbara Ann. Ann. That was my Oh, one. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, their influence was the same as ours. They were big fans of the four freshmen, yeah. as we were. The four mm-hmm. freshmen was a huge group in our mind mm-hmm. and in their mind. Mm-hmm. And so the influences of both our groups were, were the same. You know, it's just yeah. we, we come from a jazz background. That's kinda, right. Okay. With great harmony. Yeah. Um, well, we kind of talked this over, and all we can say is these were the songs we were doing at our time, and the fact that they've kind of lived on, you know, is is a wonderful yeah. thought to yeah. us. Yeah. But you know, you don't you don't know that at the time. But we're we're uh, very flattered that you like these songs because it's it means a lot to us. Yes, it certainly yeah. does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and you Melinda, have good taste. <laughs> and Melinda singing Love So Fine is a great, great vocal and a great writing. Yeah. And I remember the day I recorded that. I recorded it with, I was standing there and I had my hands in my back pockets because I was scared to death. It was kind of a live thing. And I just started singing and it turned out, it was just, it turned out to be great. So, I mean, uh, we loved it. Let me put it that way, great. Yeah. But... Anyway, that's I remembered that day I did that, and it was uh, I was just really excited. So I'm glad it turned out well. Yeah. So are we. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, so are we. I can answer that. I love the first album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. It was quite. It was. It was very unusual, all the different kinds of songs we had on there. So Yeah, we were pretty excited. We did in one night we did we we got going on the album. One night we actually did five tunes in a like a three hour date. Five vocals. Yeah. All the vocals. Yeah. Everything. Background vocals, everything. It was uh Yeah, we, we rehearsed a lot at that time. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. And uh <clears throat> a lot. <laughs> anyway, about that album, I think we all Really liked the arranging on the album, you know, mm-hmm. the, the orchestration. Yeah, and stuff. the orchestrations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was fun. And again, at that time, one more comment: this is all live musicians recorded live. You know, mm-hmm. all that stuff. It's, it's it was just wonderful to to be at the session when they yeah. were recording the strings or the horns or stuff like that. You know, it was very, very uh, moving. You know. Say so we, we we can hardly hear Melinda's vocal on the Drifter. <clears throat> well, she's definitely singing the Drifter. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of the things that that we had going for us. We had this blend, and Burry and Melinda especially, they could sing and you wouldn't know who's singing. You know, <laughs> so M- Melly is singing just along with everybody else. So. She's on that record. She's Definitely. just blending. Yes, <laughs> my, with my big brother. <laughs> and I guess our answer there is, just when we released our album, a M Records signed the Carpenters. <laughs> and that kind of left us... Uh, <laughs> Kind of not knowing what to do, and and A and M did not pick up our option, so yeah. that was that was fine though. Carpenters were a great group, yeah. and we yeah. loved them, you know. Um, <clears throat>